In this video, we will walk you through the key signs and symptoms of colon cancer, detailing how these indicators can manifest and what they might mean for your health. Staying informed can lead to timely medical attention, which is essential for effective treatment. Make sure to watch till the end for comprehensive information, and if you appreciate our content, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Unexplained weight loss. Unexplained weight loss is a significant symptom often associated with colon cancer. When a person loses weight without changing their diet or exercise routine, it can be a warning sign of an underlying health issue, including colon cancer. This symptom is crucial to understand, as it reflects the body's response to the growing cancer cells. Colon cancer cells can consume a large portion of the body's energy supply. As the cancer cells grow and multiply, they demand more energy, which they derive from the body's calorie intake. This increased energy consumption by the cancer cells can lead to weight loss. Additionally, colon cancer might affect the body's ability to absorb nutrients properly, leading to weight loss. This happens because tumors in the colon can interfere with the digestion and absorption process, preventing the body from utilizing the nutrients and calories from the food consumed. Weight loss due to colon cancer is often gradual and goes unnoticed initially. It becomes more evident as the cancer progresses. Patients might not realize the severity of their condition until they experience a noticeable decline in their weight. This unintentional weight loss is particularly concerning when it exceeds 5% of the body's weight over six months to a year without a clear reason. Besides the direct impact of the tumor on the body's metabolism and nutrient absorption, other factors related to colon cancer can contribute to weight loss. For instance, as the tumor grows, it can cause partial blockage of the colon. This blockage can lead to decreased appetite, early satiety, feeling full after eating only a small amount of food, or other digestive symptoms like nausea or abdominal pain, which can further reduce the desire to eat and lead to weight loss. Recognizing unexplained weight loss as a potential sign of colon cancer is vital for early detection and treatment. It is one of the initial indicators that can prompt individuals to seek medical attention before other, more severe symptoms develop. Early detection of colon cancer significantly improves the chances of successful treatment and can prevent the cancer from spreading to other parts of the body. Persistent abdominal pain. Persistent abdominal pain is another critical symptom indicative of colon cancer. This pain arises from the tumor's presence and growth within the colon, which can lead to discomfort or pain in the abdomen. The nature of this pain can vary. Some individuals experience a dull, constant ache, while others may encounter sharp, intermittent pains. The key aspect of this pain is its persistence, lasting for days, weeks, or even longer, and not resolving with standard treatments for common abdominal issues. The mechanism behind the abdominal pain associated with colon cancer involves the tumor's interaction with the surrounding tissues and organs. As the tumor grows, it can press against the walls of the colon and nearby organs, leading to discomfort or pain. In some cases, the tumor might invade through the wall of the colon, affecting surrounding tissues and exacerbating the pain. Additionally, if the cancer leads to a partial or complete blockage of the colon, it can cause cramping and painful bowel movements. This symptom's significance lies in its potential to indicate not only the presence of a tumor, but also changes in the tumor's size or behavior. For example, an increase in pain severity or frequency can signal that the tumor is growing or becoming more invasive. Therefore, persistent abdominal pain should never be overlooked, especially if it is accompanied by other symptoms like changes in bowel habits or unexplained weight loss. Abdominal pain related to colon cancer can also reflect complications such as perforation of the colon, where the tumor causes a hole in the colon wall. This complication is severe and can lead to intense sudden pain and requires immediate medical attention. Change in bowel habits. Change in bowel habits is a hallmark symptom of colon cancer, reflecting alterations in the function and health of the colon. This change can manifest as persistent diarrhea, constipation, or an alteration between both. Unlike common temporary disturbances of bowel habits due to dietary changes or short-term illnesses, changes associated with colon cancer persist for an extended period, often over several weeks or more. In the case of colon cancer, these changes in bowel habits are caused by the physical presence and growth of the tumor within the colon. The tumor can obstruct the passage of stool, leading to constipation, or it can irritate the lining of the colon, causing diarrhea. Additionally, the tumor can alter the normal muscular function of the colon, disrupting the regular rhythm of bowel movements. 
Constipation related to colon cancer is particularly concerning when it is a new problem for the individual and does not resolve with typical interventions like increased fiber intake or hydration. It may be accompanied by a sensation of incomplete evacuation after passing stool, further indicating a possible obstruction in the colon. Conversely, persistent diarrhea can indicate colon cancer when it occurs without an apparent reason, such as dietary changes or a gastrointestinal infection. Diarrhea that is ongoing and severe can lead to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, posing additional health risks. Another significant aspect of changed bowel habits is the alteration in the stool's appearance or consistency. For example, stools may become narrower than usual, often described as pencil thin, which can indicate a narrowing of the colon due to a tumor. This change in stool shape, combined with persistent alterations in bowel habits, underscores the need for medical evaluation. The persistence and unexplained nature of these changes in bowel habits are what make them particularly indicative of colon cancer. They signal that something is consistently affecting the colon's normal functioning, warranting further investigation to rule out cancer or other serious conditions. Blood in stool. Blood in the stool is a significant and alarming symptom of colon cancer, often indicating the presence of a tumor within the colon or rectum. This symptom manifests as the appearance of bright red or very dark blood mixed with the stool. Unlike other causes of rectal bleeding, such as hemorrhoids or anal fissures, which typically produce small amounts of blood, blood associated with colon cancer can be more substantial and persistent. The presence of blood in the stool is a direct result of the tumor's growth and its interaction with the lining of the colon or rectum. As the tumor enlarges, it can erode through the mucosa, the innermost layer of the colon or rectum, leading to bleeding. This bleeding can be intermittent or continuous, depending on the size and location of the tumor. Bright red blood usually suggests that the source of the bleeding is close to the anus, typically indicating rectal cancer or a tumor in the lower part of the colon. On the other hand, very dark, almost black stools, medically referred to as melena, indicate the presence of digested blood and suggest that the bleeding site is higher up in the colon or even in the small intestine. The detection of blood in the stool, especially if it is recurrent or accompanied by other symptoms like unexplained weight loss, change in bowel habits, or persistent abdominal pain, should prompt immediate medical attention. It is a clear sign that something is amiss in the gastrointestinal tract, and colon cancer is a critical condition to rule out. Diagnosing the cause of bleeding involves a thorough medical evaluation, including a physical examination and possibly procedures like a colonoscopy, which allows direct visualization of the inside of the colon and the identification and biopsy of any suspicious lesions. The significance of blood in the stool as a symptom of colon cancer cannot be overstated. While not all instances of rectal bleeding are due to colon cancer, its presence is a strong indicator that further investigation is needed. Feeling of incompleteness. The feeling of incompleteness after a bowel movement, often described as tenesmus, is a concerning symptom that can be associated with colon cancer. Tenesmus is the sensation of still needing to pass stool, despite having just emptied the bowel, and it can be both uncomfortable and distressing. This symptom is particularly significant when it is persistent and not related to other, more benign conditions like hemorrhoids or irritable bowel syndrome. In the context of colon cancer, the feeling of incompleteness can occur when a tumor within the rectum or lower part of the colon obstructs the bowel partially. This obstruction can prevent the complete evacuation of stool, leading to the sensation of an incomplete bowel movement. As the tumor grows, it can cause a narrowing of the passageway through the colon, further exacerbating this sensation. Tenesmus may be accompanied by other changes in bowel habits, such as increased frequency of bowel movements, urgency, or a change in the consistency of the stool. These symptoms together can significantly impact the quality of life, causing distress and discomfort. The persistence of tenesmus, especially when combined with other symptoms like rectal bleeding, unexplained weight loss, or persistent abdominal pain, is a strong indicator that a thorough medical evaluation is necessary. It is essential to rule out colon cancer as a cause, as early detection and treatment of the disease can greatly improve outcomes. Diagnostic procedures, such as a colonoscopy, can help identify the presence of a tumor and determine the cause of the tenesmus. During a colonoscopy, a doctor can visually inspect the interior of the colon and rectum and perform biopsies of any abnormal areas to check for cancer cells. Addressing the feeling of incompleteness after bowel movements is crucial. 
as it not only improves the individual's comfort and quality of life, but also aids in the early detection and treatment of possible colon cancer. Ignoring this symptom can delay the diagnosis and treatment of colon cancer, potentially leading to a more advanced stage of the disease. Fatigue. Fatigue, a profound and persistent sense of tiredness or exhaustion, is a common symptom associated with colon cancer. Unlike normal tiredness that resolves with rest, cancer-related fatigue is severe and can significantly impair daily functioning. It arises not just from the physical toll of the cancer itself, but also from the body's systemic response to the malignancy. In colon cancer, fatigue can be caused by several factors. One primary reason is the cancer's effect on the body's ability to produce and maintain healthy red blood cells, leading to anemia. Anemia in colon cancer patients often results from chronic blood loss in the stool, which may not always be visible. Over time, this blood loss depletes the body's iron stores necessary for red blood cell production, causing a decrease in oxygen delivery to tissues and resulting in fatigue. Furthermore, the body's energy resources are diverted towards supporting the abnormal growth of cancer cells, which are metabolically active and consume a significant amount of energy. This diversion can lead to a decrease in energy available for normal bodily functions, manifesting as fatigue. Another aspect is the release of inflammatory cytokines in response to cancer. These cytokines are part of the body's immune response to malignancy, but can lead to a chronic state of inflammation, further exacerbating the feeling of tiredness and general malaise. Fatigue related to colon cancer is persistent and can be debilitating. It often does not improve with rest and can affect all areas of a person's life, limiting their ability to perform everyday activities, work, and participate in social activities. It is also emotionally draining and can significantly impact mental health, contributing to feelings of depression and anxiety. Given the multifactorial nature of cancer-related fatigue, it is crucial for patients and healthcare providers to recognize this symptom as a potential indicator of colon cancer, especially when it occurs without an apparent cause and is accompanied by other symptoms such as unexplained weight loss, changes in bowel habits, or blood in the stool. Iron deficiency. Iron deficiency anemia is a common and often early symptom of colon cancer. It occurs when the body lacks enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to its tissues, leading to fatigue, paleness, and shortness of breath. In the context of colon cancer, iron deficiency anemia typically results from chronic, often unnoticed blood loss in the stool, which depletes the body's iron reserves necessary for red blood cell production. The connection between iron deficiency anemia and colon cancer is primarily due to the bleeding that can occur from cancerous tumors in the colon. Even small, slow-bleeding tumors can lead to significant iron loss over time. Unlike other sources of gastrointestinal bleeding, such as from stomach ulcers or hemorrhoids, the bleeding from colon cancer may not be visible or obvious in the stool. As a result, many individuals may not be aware of the ongoing blood loss and its impact on their body's iron levels until symptoms of anemia appear. Iron deficiency anemia in the context of colon cancer is particularly concerning because it often indicates a long-standing and potentially advanced disease. The anemia may develop before other symptoms of colon cancer become apparent, such as abdominal pain or changes in bowel habits. Therefore, the diagnosis of unexplained iron deficiency anemia, especially in adults over the age of 50 or those with risk factors for colon cancer, warrants a thorough evaluation for possible malignancy, including a colonoscopy. The presence of iron deficiency anemia also has significant clinical implications for the patient. It can exacerbate the fatigue associated with cancer, reduce physical tolerance for daily activities, and affect cognitive function. Furthermore, it can impact the body's ability to tolerate cancer treatments, such as chemotherapy and surgery, making the management of colon cancer more challenging. Addressing iron deficiency anemia in patients with colon cancer involves not only treating the anemia itself, typically with iron supplements or blood transfusions, but also targeting the underlying cause, which is the bleeding tumor. Successful treatment of the cancer can lead to a resolution of the anemia and an improvement in symptoms and overall quality of life. Narrow stools. Narrow stools, sometimes described as pencil thin, are a symptom that can be indicative of colon cancer. This change in stool caliber is due to a narrowing of the passage through the colon, often caused by a tumor growing inward and constricting the space through which stool can pass. 
The change can be progressive, with stools gradually becoming narrower over time, which can help differentiate it from temporary changes in stool shape due to diet or other benign conditions. The presence of narrow stools as a symptom of colon cancer is particularly concerning when it is consistent and not associated with other non-cancerous causes like anal fissures or hemorrhoids. In the case of colon cancer, the tumor can physically obstruct the colon, leading to a change in the shape of the stool. As the tumor grows, it can cause a partial or complete blockage, making it difficult for stool to pass, which then results in narrower stools. This symptom is significant because it can be one of the early signs of colon cancer, especially when it occurs with other symptoms, such as unexplained weight loss, blood in the stool, persistent abdominal pain, or changes in bowel habits. Recognizing and acting upon this symptom can lead to earlier diagnosis and treatment, which is crucial for improving the outcome of colon cancer. The diagnosis of colon cancer often involves a colonoscopy, which allows direct visualization of the colon and the ability to identify and biopsy any tumors. If narrow stools are due to a tumor in the colon, the colonoscopy can usually detect it, and subsequent treatments can be planned accordingly. Managing colon cancer that presents with narrow stools involves treating the cancer itself, which may include surgery to remove the tumor, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or a combination of these treatments. Successful removal of the tumor can alleviate the obstruction in the colon and resolve the symptom of narrow stools. Bloating or gas. Bloating or gas, particularly when persistent and not related to dietary factors, can be a symptom of colon cancer. This symptom arises from the tumor's interference with the normal function of the colon, leading to disruptions in the digestive process. Bloating and gas can result from the partial obstruction of the colon by the tumor, which can slow down the movement of gas and stool, causing discomfort and abdominal swelling. The significance of bloating and gas as symptoms of colon cancer lies in their potential to indicate an underlying malignancy, especially when these symptoms are combined with other signs, such as changes in bowel habits, unexplained weight loss, or blood in the stool. In colon cancer, bloating and gas are often not relieved by normal interventions such as dietary changes or over-the-counter medications, and their persistence can be a clue to the presence of a more serious condition. When a tumor in the colon grows to a size where it impedes the normal passage of waste, it can cause a buildup of gas and stool, leading to bloating. Additionally, tumors can alter the normal bacterial flora of the colon, contributing to increased gas production. This alteration can affect the digestive process, leading to symptoms like bloating and excessive gas. Persistent bloating and gas that do not have a clear cause should be evaluated by a healthcare professional. Diagnostic tests, including a colonoscopy, can help determine if colon cancer is the cause of these symptoms. During a colonoscopy, the entire colon is examined, and any abnormal growths or obstructions can be identified and biopsied for further analysis. Rectal bleeding. Rectal bleeding is a significant and alarming symptom that is strongly associated with colon cancer. It refers to the passage of blood from the anus, separate from the stool, which can appear as bright red blood on the toilet paper or in the toilet bowl. This symptom is particularly concerning when it occurs without an obvious cause, such as anal fissures or hemorrhoids, and is persistent. In colon cancer, rectal bleeding occurs when the tumor in the rectum or the lower part of the colon bleeds. As the tumor grows, it can invade into blood vessels, leading to bleeding. This symptom is often one of the earlier signs of cancer in the lower part of the colon or rectum, and can be a critical indicator for the need for further investigation. The presence of rectal bleeding, especially when accompanied by other symptoms like changes in bowel habits, unexplained weight loss, or persistent abdominal pain, should prompt immediate medical attention. Unlike blood mixed with stool, which might indicate bleeding higher in the colon, Rectal bleeding typically indicates a problem in the lower part of the gastrointestinal tract. Diagnosing the cause of rectal bleeding usually involves a thorough medical history and physical examination, followed by diagnostic procedures such as colonoscopy or sigmoidoscopy. These procedures allow direct visualization of the colon and rectum, and can help identify the source of bleeding, such as a cancerous tumor, and facilitate the collection of tissue samples for biopsy. The management of rectal bleeding due to colon cancer focuses on treating the underlying cancer. Depending on the stage and location of the tumor, treatment may include surgical removal of the tumor, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or a combination of these treatments. 
Successfully treating the cancer can stop the bleeding and prevent further complications. Unexplained fever. Unexplained fever or night sweats can sometimes be symptoms of colon cancer, indicating the body's response to the disease. Fever in the context of colon cancer can occur when the cancer causes an infection or inflammation in the colon, or as part of a systemic response to the cancer itself. Night sweats, which are severe hot flashes occurring at night, can also be a response to the body's effort to fight the cancer. These symptoms are particularly important when they are persistent and not attributable to other more common causes like infections or hormonal imbalances. In colon cancer, a fever may arise from a tumor causing a blockage and subsequent infection or inflammation in the colon. The body's immune system responds to the cancer cells as foreign invaders, potentially leading to fever and night sweats as part of the systemic inflammatory response. Persistent or recurring unexplained fever and night sweats can be indicative of an underlying malignancy, including colon cancer, especially when accompanied by other symptoms like weight loss, abdominal pain, or changes in bowel habits. These systemic symptoms reflect the body's reaction to the cancer and can be a clue to its presence before more localized symptoms, such as a change in bowel habits or rectal bleeding, become apparent. Cramping. Persistent or severe abdominal cramps or discomfort is a symptom that can be associated with colon cancer. This type of pain is often due to the tumor's impact on the colon's function and structure. As a tumor grows, it can obstruct the passage of stool, leading to increased pressure and cramping in the colon. Additionally, the tumor can invade surrounding tissues, causing pain and discomfort. Abdominal cramps related to colon cancer are typically persistent and can vary in intensity. They are often more than just the occasional cramp or stomach ache that people experience from time to time. Instead, these cramps can be severe and may not be relieved by over-the-counter medications or changes in diet. The persistence and severity of the pain are what make it a concerning symptom that warrants further investigation. This symptom is particularly significant when it occurs alongside other signs of colon cancer, such as changes in bowel habits, unexplained weight loss, or blood in the stool. The combination of symptoms can help in forming a clinical suspicion of colon cancer, leading to further diagnostic evaluations. To determine the cause of abdominal cramps and discomfort, healthcare professionals may perform a physical examination, followed by diagnostic tests such as blood tests, imaging studies like CT scans or MRIs, and endoscopic procedures like a colonoscopy. These tests can help visualize the colon and identify any abnormalities, such as tumors, that might be causing the symptoms. Treating the underlying cause of the pain, which in the case of colon cancer, involves removing the tumor and managing the cancer through surgery, chemotherapy, and or radiation therapy can alleviate the symptom of abdominal cramps. Appetite loss. Loss of appetite, often experienced as a persistent lack of desire to eat or feeling full quickly after starting to eat, can be a symptom of colon cancer. This symptom is particularly concerning when it leads to unintentional weight loss and is not explained by other factors such as changes in diet, medication side effects, or emotional stress. In the context of colon cancer, loss of appetite can occur due to the tumor's effects on the body's metabolism and the local impact on the gastrointestinal tract. The presence of a tumor in the colon can physically obstruct the digestive pathway, leading to a sensation of fullness or discomfort after eating only a small amount of food. Additionally, cancer can alter the body's normal metabolic processes, affecting hunger signals and leading to a decreased desire to eat. This symptom is significant because it can contribute to nutritional deficiencies and weight loss, which can weaken the body and affect its ability to withstand cancer treatments like surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Loss of appetite in colon cancer patients can also impact their quality of life, leading to decreased energy levels and a reduced ability to perform daily activities. The evaluation of loss of appetite in the context of colon cancer involves a detailed medical history to assess dietary habits, weight changes, and other symptoms. Diagnostic tests may include blood tests to check for nutritional deficiencies and anemia, imaging studies to look for tumors or obstructions in the colon, and endoscopic procedures like a colonoscopy to directly visualize the colon and identify any cancerous growths. Treating the underlying colon cancer can help alleviate the symptom of loss of appetite. Depending on the stage and location of the tumor, treatment may involve surgical removal of the tumor, 
chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or a combination of these treatments. Jaundice. Jaundice, characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes, is a symptom that can occur in advanced stages of colon cancer, particularly when the cancer has spread to the liver or is causing obstruction in the bile ducts. Jaundice in the context of colon cancer is significant because it often indicates a more progressed disease state. The development of jaundice related to colon cancer occurs when there is an obstruction of the bile ducts, which are pathways that carry bile from the liver to the intestines. If a colon cancer tumor spreads to the liver or presses on the bile ducts, it can block the flow of bile, causing bile pigments to build up in the blood and deposit in the skin and eyes, leading to a yellow hue. Additionally, if the cancer affects the liver's functionality due to metastasis, the liver's ability to process bilirubin, a yellow pigment produced during the breakdown of red blood cells, is compromised, further contributing to jaundice. This situation reflects the severity of the disease and the extent of its spread, which is vital for staging the cancer and determining the appropriate treatment approach. Jaundice, associated with colon cancer, is often accompanied by other symptoms like abdominal pain, changes in bowel habits, weight loss, and general weakness. The presence of jaundice along with these symptoms necessitates immediate medical evaluation to determine the extent of the cancer and to initiate the most effective treatment. Diagnosis of the underlying cause of jaundice involves a combination of blood tests, imaging studies such as ultrasound, Connecticut scans, or MRIs, and sometimes a biopsy to assess the extent of cancer involvement in the liver. These diagnostic tools help in determining the presence and impact of colon cancer on the liver and bile ducts. Treating jaundice related to colon cancer involves addressing the underlying cancer and managing the bile duct obstruction. This may include surgical procedures to remove the tumor or relieve the obstruction, systemic therapies like chemotherapy, or targeted therapy to treat the cancer and supportive care to manage symptoms. Bowel obstruction. Bowel obstruction is a serious symptom that can occur in advanced stages of colon cancer. It happens when the cancerous tumor grows large enough to block the passage of stool through the colon. This blockage can lead to symptoms such as severe abdominal pain, bloating, vomiting, and an inability to pass gas or stool. Bowel obstruction is a medical emergency that requires immediate attention. In colon cancer, a bowel obstruction typically arises from a tumor that has grown inward, narrowing the pathway through which stool passes. As the tumor enlarges, it can completely block the colon, preventing the passage of stool and gas. This blockage disrupts the normal function of the digestive system and can lead to a buildup of intestinal contents behind the obstruction, causing pain and swelling of the abdomen. The occurrence of bowel obstruction in the context of colon cancer is particularly concerning because it often indicates an advanced stage of the disease. The development of an obstruction suggests that the tumor is large and may be more challenging to treat. Symptoms of bowel obstruction can include crampy abdominal pain that comes and goes, severe bloating, nausea, vomiting, and a change in bowel habits, such as a sudden stop in stool and gas passage. These symptoms are severe and progressive leading to significant discomfort and potentially life-threatening complications if not treated promptly. Diagnosis of bowel obstruction due to colon cancer typically involves abdominal imaging studies, such as x-rays, Connecticut scans, or MRI, to visualize the blockage and determine its cause. These imaging tests can show the location and extent of the obstruction and help guide treatment decisions. The treatment for bowel obstruction in the context of colon cancer often involves surgery to remove the obstructing tumor and any affected sections of the colon. In some cases, other treatments, such as stenting to open the blocked area or bypass surgery to reroute the intestinal pathway, may be considered. Alongside treating the obstruction, addressing the underlying cancer through chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or targeted therapy is crucial to managing the disease and preventing further complications. Pelvic pain. Pelvic pain, though less commonly associated with colon cancer than other symptoms, can occur, particularly when the cancer has spread to the pelvic area or is exerting pressure on nearby nerves or organs. In colon cancer, pelvic pain might arise from advanced stage tumors that have grown beyond the colon and are affecting pelvic structures. This symptom is significant because it can indicate that the cancer has progressed to a more advanced stage where it involves other organs and tissues beyond the original site. 
Pelvic pain related to colon cancer can vary in intensity and nature. It might be constant or intermittent, and its severity can range from mild to severe. Pelvic pain in the context of colon cancer may be accompanied by other symptoms, such as changes in bowel habits, rectal bleeding, and systemic symptoms like unexplained weight loss and fatigue. The presence of pelvic pain, especially with these accompanying symptoms, warrants a thorough medical evaluation to determine its cause and to assess the extent of the cancer's spread. Diagnosing the cause of pelvic pain when colon cancer is suspected typically involves a combination of clinical examination, imaging studies such as CT scans or MRIs, and possibly endoscopic procedures like a colonoscopy. These diagnostic tools can help identify the presence of tumors in the colon and assess whether the cancer has spread to pelvic organs. Treatment for colon cancer causing pelvic pain depends on the cancer's stage and location. It may include surgical removal of the tumor and affected areas, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or a combination of these treatments. Unexplained nausea or vomiting. Unexplained nausea or vomiting can be symptoms of colon cancer, especially when the cancer leads to an obstruction or significant disruption in the gastrointestinal tract. While these symptoms are more commonly associated with other medical conditions in the context of colon cancer, they can occur due to the tumor's impact on the normal function of the colon and digestive system. Nausea and vomiting in colon cancer patients may arise from a tumor causing a partial or complete blockage in the colon. This blockage can prevent food and digestive fluids from passing through the digestive tract normally, leading to a buildup in subsequent regurgitation or vomiting. Additionally, if the cancer has spread to other areas such as the liver or peritoneal cavity, it can indirectly affect gastrointestinal function and cause nausea or vomiting. These symptoms are particularly concerning when they are persistent, occur without a clear cause, and are accompanied by other signs of colon cancer, such as changes in bowel habits, abdominal pain, or unexplained weight loss. The occurrence of unexplained nausea or vomiting warrants a thorough medical evaluation to determine the underlying cause and to rule out colon cancer, especially in individuals at increased risk for the disease. The diagnostic process may include a detailed patient history, physical examination, blood tests, imaging studies like CT scans or MRIs, and endoscopic procedures such as a colonoscopy. These tests can help identify the presence of a tumor in the colon and assess whether it is causing an obstruction or other issues leading to nausea or vomiting. Treatment for colon cancer-related nausea or vomiting typically involves addressing the underlying tumor causing these symptoms. This may include surgical removal of the tumor, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or a combination of these treatments depending on the stage and location of the cancer. Symptomatic treatments to control nausea and vomiting, such as antiemetic medications, may also be an important part of the patient's care plan. A change in stool color, particularly to a dark or tarry black appearance, can indicate the presence of colon cancer. This change is significant because it often suggests that there is bleeding within the gastrointestinal tract, with the blood having time to partially digest and change color before being passed in the stool. In the context of colon cancer, a darker stool color can result from bleeding higher up in the colon, or even from the small intestine. As the blood mixes with digestive enzymes, it darkens, leading to the black, tarry appearance known as melena. Melena is distinct from the bright red blood that might be seen with rectal bleeding and typically indicates a slower bleed that occurs higher in the digestive tract. This symptom is particularly concerning when it occurs without any apparent reason, such as taking iron supplements or eating foods that could darken the stool color. Persistent changes in stool color, especially if accompanied by other symptoms like abdominal pain, unexplained weight loss, or changes in bowel habits, should be evaluated by a healthcare professional. The diagnostic process for identifying the cause of dark or tarry stools typically involves a detailed medical history physical examination, and specific tests. These can include blood tests to check for anemia or other abnormalities, stool tests to detect hidden blood, and endoscopic procedures like a colonoscopy or upper gastrointestinal endoscopy to visually inspect the digestive tract and identify any sources of bleeding, treating the underlying cause of the change in stool color, particularly when related to colon cancer, involves addressing the cancer itself. This may include surgical removal of the tumor, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or a combination of these treatments. 
Successful management of the cancer can stop the bleeding and resolve the symptom of dark or teary stools. Sudden lactose intolerance. The sudden onset of lactose intolerance in an individual who previously tolerated dairy products well can be a less common but possible symptom of colon cancer. This change can manifest as gastrointestinal discomfort, bloating, gas, diarrhea, or nausea after consuming dairy products. In the context of colon cancer, lactose intolerance may develop due to the cancer affecting the colon's ability to produce lactase, the enzyme needed to digest lactose, or due to the general disruption of normal digestive processes. While lactose intolerance is more commonly associated with genetic factors or age-related decline in lactase production, its abrupt onset, especially in older adults, can sometimes signal an underlying issue like colon cancer. The tumor might alter the intestinal environment or damage the cells that produce lactase, leading to difficulties in digesting lactose. This symptom is particularly notable when it occurs alongside other signs of colon cancer, such as changes in bowel habits, unexplained weight loss, abdominal pain, or blood in the stool. Persistent or sudden changes in digestive tolerance, like the development of lactose intolerance, should prompt a medical evaluation to rule out serious conditions, including colon cancer. To diagnose the cause of newly developed lactose intolerance, healthcare professionals may conduct lactose tolerance tests, breath tests, or stool tests, alongside a thorough examination of the patient's medical history and symptoms. If colon cancer is suspected, a colonoscopy or other diagnostic imaging tests may be recommended to visually examine the colon and identify any abnormal growths or obstructions. Treating colon cancer that presents with symptoms like lactose intolerance involves addressing the primary tumor and managing the overall health of the colon. Treatment strategies may include surgical removal of the tumor, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or a combination, depending on the stage and location of the cancer. Swelling in abdomen or legs. Swelling in the abdomen or legs can be a symptom of advanced colon cancer, indicating a significant disease progression or the development of complications. In the context of colon cancer, abdominal swelling can result from a buildup of, of fluid known as ascites, which occurs when the cancer spreads to the peritoneum, the lining of the abdominal cavity. This condition can cause the abdomen to distend and feel tight or swollen. Additionally, cancer can lead to the obstruction of lymphatic drainage or venous return, causing fluid to accumulate in the legs, leading to swelling, known as edema. In colon cancer, such swelling is particularly concerning because it might indicate not only local tumor growth, but also possible metastasis or spread of the cancer to other parts of the body, affecting the lymphatic or circulatory system. The occurrence of swelling in the abdomen or legs associated with colon cancer often comes with other symptoms like pain, changes in bowel habits, unexplained weight loss, and fatigue. These combined symptoms can be indicative of advanced stage cancer, requiring prompt and comprehensive medical evaluation. To diagnose the cause of swelling, medical professionals will typically conduct a physical examination. Imaging studies such as ultrasound, Connecticut scans, or MRI and possibly blood tests to assess liver function and look for signs of cancer spread. If colon cancer is suspected, a colonoscopy may be performed to examine the inside of the colon and identify any tumors or blockages. Treatment for colon cancer that causes swelling in the abdomen or legs will depend on the stage and extent of the disease. It may include surgical intervention to remove the tumor or relieve obstruction, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy to target cancer cells, and supportive care to manage symptoms and improve quality of life. We've reached the end of our discussion on colon cancer's signs and symptoms. To continue exploring vital health information, click on the video appearing on the screen. Your health is important, so keep watching to stay informed. If you value our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.